Parkinson's is awful. Parkinson's is scary, gradual, exhausting. Parkinson's is like a wall that closes in on someone. Parkinson's has a great Parkinson's Institute, so that's the one good thing I can say about it. Our Parkinson's Institute feels so, so much really, truly ours, as if they're working only for our family and my mother, that um, we are eternally grateful. I, I don't know if there's any other institute in the world that is so um, accommodating and so generous-spirited and so helpful. I'm Polly Draper. I'm married with two kids, daughter to my um, mother who has Parkinson's. She found out uh, when she was about 50, and she called all of us and told us. She was having a strange thing where her arm just kept going up with no reason. I think that she and my dad tried to soft pedal it as much as possible for us. She didn't want anyone to know she had it, so it was just our family that knew. The first thing that I noticed was my mom has really sparkly eyes, and, um, and her eyes stopped being sparkly. She, she stopped having kind of a twinkle in her eyes, like she stopped being able to have the expressions that she did. She was also one of those people that um, had a really expressive face and a big smile. And she said to me, once she started freezing up, that she made a decision she could either freeze up in a, a, a dead mask or she could freeze up in a smile. So everyone knows her as the woman that just has this smile on her face all the time. And I think, it, uh, I think it's kind of a metaphor for how she's dealt with the Parkinson's. My biggest fear is losing my mom because she's, you know, really my best friend. One of the, the fears that I'm actually having realized right now is that I'm not actually losing her. I'm just having a hard time knowing what's inside because she's having a hard time communicating. But my mom, there's nothing wrong with her mind or her memory. She's completely, you know, and that isn't true about a lot of people who suffer from Parkinson's. She is like there, like a whip. She remembers everything. She's the one who tells my dad, no, it's not right. We have an appointment then, or no, that memory that you have is wrong. And, you know, and uh, so the fact that she is unable to communicate her thoughts at this point is a really tough one for all of us. And, you know, so, it sucks. She wouldn't be as aggressively pursuing making herself, her quality of life better if she didn't feel she was getting such a push from the Parkinson's Institute. They really have been unbelievable. And, and to the rest of our family, just a godsend. Well, I would hope that every person who has any kind of disease is as well taken care of as my mother, let's put it that way. She has been treated so, so beautifully. And I know Dr. Langston, who's her hero and our hero, um, he's, he's just the most gentle, kind, loving, inspirational person, and he, he feels the same way about my mom because she's been just so amazing. The more brilliant people that are working to help people with Parkinson's, the better it'll be for everybody with the disease. Research is, is progressing really rapidly. It just needs funding in order to do so. Government is cutting all this research for these major important causes, and so people have to step up and give money because if the government isn't doing it, they have to do it. Parkinson's, we're in this together. Invest in today, tomorrow, and hope. Join me, my family, and the Parkinson's Institute. Let's get our Indiegogo on.